For this example, we want to find this information for our given equation, y squared minus 4y plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the equation would look like in the conics form that I'm used to. However, I do know that this is a parabola because we have a single value being squared um, and that this is going to be a y squared variety parabola, again, because the y is being squared. So because it is a y squared variety parabola, that tells me that our graph should open to the left or right. Um, and we wanna try and change this form into the conic form that we're used to. So what we're gonna do to help us do that is we're going to isolate our values of y and move the four x and the four to the right so that we can then complete the square. Because we know that our y squared uh, variety uh, parabola should be a perfect square. So it should be y minus something quantity squared. So we're gonna move the four x and four to the right by subtracting them. And we will have this y squared minus four y equals negative four x minus four. So now we complete the square on the y's. So take your negative four divided by two, which is negative two and square that. So negative two squared is positive four. So we're gonna add four to both sides. Now we wanna factor this because we want uh, this in the factored form that we're used to. So we get y minus two quantity squared equals, and actually this negative four and positive four end up canceling. So we get negative four times x. So this is the equation of our parabola in that conic form that we're used to. So now, now that we know what we're working with, we can find all of this information. So our vertex is at the point, uh, so you can kind of imagine this as being x minus zero. So making our vertex the ordered pair zero comma two, zero two. So this is our vertex. Uh, the focus, so we know that the focus is just a units away from our vertex. And we know that this value here is equal to four times a. So negative four is equal to four times a. Divide both sides by four. And so we get that the value of a is negative one. So that means that our focus is going to be one unit to the left. Because again, this opens left or right. Because a is negative, that tells us it opens to the left. So let's first plot our vertex. Our vertex is here at zero, two. Uh, that means that our focus is going to be one unit left of this. So that's going to be here at negative one comma two, negative one comma two. Uh, that also tells us that our directrix is one unit to the right of our vertex. And it's going to be a vertical line that passes through the value of x equaling one. So that means that it's an equation of x equals one. So that's the equation of the directrix there. Uh, the length of our lattice rectum is just four times the absolute value of a. Since a is one or negative one, its absolute value is one, the length of the la lattice rectum is four units. Okay, and half of, so the way that we plot the lattice rectum, the endpoints of the lattice rectum, is its total length is four units and it's bisected by the focus. So that means we go two units above, half of its length is above the focus and half of its length is below the focus. So there are two points um, the, of the lattice rectum. This is our focus and then the red point is our vertex. So to sketch the graph, we're just gonna graph a parabola that passes through the lattice rectum and our vertex. So it's gonna look something like this here. So that blue parabola is the, uh, the graph of this equation here. y minus two quantity squared equals negative four times x.